If you've ever tried to add custom mobs to your Minecraft server, you've probably heard about Mythic Mobs. It is one of the best core plugins out there to add custom mobs to your Minecraft server. Just like how Items Adder is one of the best core plugins for custom items, weapons and blocks. Now Mythic Mobs is huge. When I say the possibilities are endless with this plugin, I'm not oversaturating. You can add your own animals, your own monsters. You can even add bosses or just NPCs. Whatever you want to do, Mythic Mobs can probably do it. And today I'm going to show you how to set it up for yourself and how to add content to this plugin. Make sure to subscribe. You would help me out a crazy lot. So we're going to start off by downloading Mythic Mobs. While in theory it can still be downloaded on Spigot MC, I would highly recommend downloading it from Mythic Craft, their own website, which features all of the Mythic plugins as well as the Mythic Marketplace, where you can actually download content for their plugins. It's super convenient. I will show you how it works in a second. But first, we're going to download Mythic Mobs. So you just want to click on Go to downloads and then over here you will have to choose between three versions we got a free version a premium version and daily dev builds now while i am sure there are some features you can only get with the premium version with the free version you can do a whole lot so if you're not missing anything i would go for the free one so we're simply gonna click here and there we go now you want to go to your minecraft server directory and drag the mythic mobs jar file into your plugins folder by the way if you're still looking for a cool place to host a minecraft server you might want to check out channel partner alien host they offer incredible minecraft servers with top tier hardware so make sure to check them out through the link down below and if you use code kasasura on their website you can get a hold 20 percent off your order while supporting me along the way now after dragging mythic mobs into the plugins folder you want to give your server a quick reboot and this this is the part where you have to make a choice do you want to make your own completely custom mob all the way from scratch you Using the Mythic Mob wiki page, which, because there's so many different options, can take you quite a while to learn. Or are you going to go to the Mythic Mobs marketplace and download or purchase some content from there? Now, both options here are, of course, uh, completely fine. But I think for 90% of you, downloading or purchasing some content for this plugin is the way to go. So that is what I will be covering in this video. So if you want to see an actual tutorial on how to create your own custom mob all the way from start to finish for sure let me know in the comments of this video and I will have a look at that in the future now of course there are multiple websites where you can download mythic mobs content from but one of the best websites to be is mythic mobs own website mythiccraft.io so when we go to the resources tab here on the top you will see under categories there is something called mythic packs and this this is what we're looking for. So we can just click on mobs slash mob packs or item packs. We can also choose for model engine models. Now you might be like, huh? Model engine? Well, yes. Mythic mobs and model engine, you could see as best buddies. If you're going to install mythic mobs, you probably also want model engine at some point and the other way around. Let's be honest. The most awesome custom mobs are the custom mobs that have a custom model. But let's go to mobs slash mob packs. And over here, you will see a gigantic list with different mob packs to buy. Now I know what you're thinking, oh my, these are expensive. And yes, they are. So it's completely up to you if you think it's worth it to spend money on custom mobs or custom models. If you really want to make a unique and very cool Minecraft server, I would definitely recommend that because all the free packs are of course downloaded a crazy lot. Now there is a filter system, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Like you can see, nothing changed. So if you actually want to find some free mobs, I would highly recommend going to mcmodels.net. Now over here, there's a filter system that does actually work. And like you can see, we got some completely free awesome content here now in categories here on the left i'm just gonna select mobs slash animals and hey that sounds interesting the mob vote mobs <laughs> so when we open it up you can see a tab called dependencies for this pack we need mythic mobs and model engine this will pretty much always be the case like i said Mythic mobs and model engine go hand in hand. If you want a mythic mob that has any custom model, you need model engine. Luckily for us, both have a free version. And of course, while they are limited, for most 
casual server builders, the free versions will be enough. So we're simply going to click on a download. Make sure you have an account and that you're logged in. And then the download will start. Because the mod pack we just downloaded requires model engine, we're now going to download model engine 2. Link to this page will of course also be down below. Simply click on go to download. Wait a second, before you download Model Engine from Mythic Craft, later in this video, I stumbled upon a very weird bug, where for some reason, the custom mob we added is lagging like crazy. Now for 20 minutes, I tried everything to solve this, and eventually, I stumbled upon the solution, which was downgrading the version of Model Engine. The version of Model Engine you can download from Mythic Craft is Model Engine 4, but the legacy version on Spig and MC is Model engine 3 and that version didn't have any of these issues i don't know if model engine 4 is just bugged or if it maybe has something to do with the compatibility of the models i chose but do keep in mind that if your mobs are lagging like this the way i solved it was by downloading model engine 3 from spigot i will leave a link to both model engine versions down below so you can check them both out and see which one works for you you got a free and a paid version. I would say if you don't need more than 12 models, go for the free one. If you do need more than 12 models, go for the paid one. Of course, the paid one has more features, so it depends on what you're looking for. But for this video, we're gonna go for the free one. So after downloading, you also wanna drag modelengine.jar into your plugins folder and then give your server another quick reboot. Now after that, we're gonna open the folder we just downloaded from MC Models. And you can see we got three folders here. MC Pets, Model Engine, and Mythic Mobs. Now if you're using the MC Pets plugin, you can use this folder. Though, as this is a Mythic Mobs tutorial, we're gonna work with these two. Now, the way that most of these mob packs work is that you can simply drag and drop these folders into the plugin folder of your Minecraft server. So, I am just going to zip these two files, compress to zip, then I'm gonna upload the zip file to my plugins folder, and then we're simply gonna unarchive it. It looks like nothing has changed, but when we go into the Mythic Mobs folder, and then in the packs folder, you can see, wow, there it is. So, now we will just delete the zip file, and then give the server a quick little reboot. Now something very important you may absolutely not forget is that you have to download and apply the model engine resource pack to your own Minecraft client. If you want to know more about model engine, I recently made a video about it and I will leave it linked as a card on this video. But we're going to go back to our plugins folder then model engine. Over here, you will see the resource pack and we're simply gonna download it and then apply it to our own client. So there we go, applied. And then let's see if it actually works. I'm back. Issue solved. So it wasn't a problem with Mythic Mobs, it was a model engine problem. So I deleted model engine 4 from my plugins folder, I replaced it with model engine 3, and when I now spawn the armadillo, you can see it just moves normally. It is now acting the way it is supposed to. And we can also spawn the penguin. There he is. Ah, isn't that cute? We got a penguin in Minecraft. So if you're facing this issue yourself too, then now you know what to do. Downgrade to the legacy version of Model Engine. For the funds of it, I also installed this mob. Look at him. He has a great life. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. Now, before we end this video, let's take a quick look at the config. Because you can actually learn a lot about how to create your own custom mob by looking at pre-made mobs. So back in the plugins folder, we're going to the Mythic Mobs folder. Then we're going to click on packs. Here you will see the two packs I've added. This is the one I've added off screen. Then vote mobs mobs and then here we got the bsvotemobs.yml and here you will see what a very basic mob looks like so this is probably the easiest way to create a mob so the armadillo just like the crab and the penguin they are actually all pigs pig of course is an already existing mob in minecraft and basically what they did here is just remodel a pig like for example you can still change the movement speed or the follow range so if you add a mob that's a lot slower than a pig for example a penguin you can set the movement speed speeds to only 0.15. Now when we go to the config file of the other mob I installed off screen, so I'm gonna click here, then I'm gonna go to mobs, and then you can see we got two variants. We have a baby variant and the normal one. I'm gonna open the normal one and you can see there are a lot more options here. So this mob has been way more customized. By default, it is an iron golem. So that is the type of mob it actually is. But you can see they changed 
a lot of settings. So while it might actually be an iron golem, you can see the health has been changed, the damage has been set to zero, over here the movement speed has been changed, also prevent other drops is very interesting. So this basically means that the iron golem, which it actually is, will not drop its own loot. It will drop custom loot. So no iron and roses. Now prevent renaming is disabled so you can rename it. You can leash it, which is something you of course cannot do with an iron golem. Now over here, all the way at the bottom, you will also see drops. And that is very interesting. So when we exit out of the file, you can see that in the same folder where you can also find the mobs folder, there is also a drop tables folder. And over here, you have custom drops. So you can see the drop for this mob is XP, we got feather, and we even have a whole custom item. So that's actually a cassowary horn, and that has a 40% chance of dropping. But wait, this horn doesn't exist in vanilla Minecraft. And that is true, because when we go back once more, you can see there's also a folder called items. And when we open that one up and then loot, you can see there it is, the horn. And here you will see custom information about that. So the custom name, also which ID it is. So it actually is a paper in the same way that the cassowary is actually an iron golem. But they have just been retextured. The stats have changed, but in theory, it's still a piece of paper that you get. But it has a different model data. Okay, so back in game, when we type slash MM items, give, hasas hurrah, and then the cassowary horn, we can actually spawn it in. There it is. Now, the reason I see this horn as horn and not as a piece of paper is because I've applied the resource pack that I received together with this mob pack. Now, that would mean that you have two resource packs because we have a resource pack applied for the horn and we also have a resource pack applied to actually see these models. Luckily, we can combine resource packs and I've made a video on how to do that. So if you want to check it out, I will leave it linked as a card on this video. And then this is going to be everything for today. If you would still like to see a full tutorial Tutorial where I show you how to create a custom mob all the way from start to finish. For sure, let me know in the comments of this video and I will look into that. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. Also, a massive shout out to my channel members for the incredible support. Thank you guys so much. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.